Hello, I'm Billy Ray Erlings. Thank you for joining me in this exciting session. We're going to begin playing pieces by learning a blues bass. You're going to be amazed to see how you can learn early on playing with two hands, and your friends will also be amazed. But you do have to do it in important steps, so you want to follow along with me step by step. If you're following along in the book, this is pages three and four. First blues, bass, with a home tone of C. Now that doesn't mean anything right now except that we do begin on a letter named C. So first, let's locate what I call the ingredients that we have to learn. If you were going to bake a cake, you would go to the cupboard and you would take out the flour and the sugar and the butter. The same is true in the type of innovative approach that we're teaching you. An important step is to take the ingredients out of the cupboard. Now those ingredients, we're going to look at the keyboard together to see. Do that with me now. First, let's locate the piano keys that we need for our blues bass. Two black keys to the left is C. Put your left hand pinky on a C. Now, this interval, a perfect fifth, twinkle, 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 perfect fifth. Put your thumb on this G. Now, if you look at the diagram that's showing at the bottom of the screen, you will see these two pitches, C and G, outlined or highlighted in red. C and G. Now I'm pulling fingers under the hand just so you can see which keys I'm playing. When I start to play, my hand is going to be curved like this. But I just want you to see the three ingredient perfect fits. Now right now, one octave higher. You remember what an octave is? The very next location. Two black keys to the left. Put the right hand on C with the thumb. We're using the outside of the hand. That's easiest to remember. We don't care about finger numbers right now. It's not a part of this learning approach this early. Put the thumb here and your pinky on G. Do you see them outlined in red? Now we don't have to master right now playing them together, we can do what we call echo playing. It is a super learning study technique that we use forever. It's called echo playing, one hand at a time. I would like for you to use the left hand first, just to get the brain working that left hand. So play perfect fifth built on C. When we say built on, we're referring to the lowest pitch of the interval. In this case, C. It's called the root of the interval. If you're following along in the book, this is on pages three and four. So we have a perfect fifth, twinkle, twinkle. Everybody knows twinkle, twinkle. Built on C. Now let's get everything out of the way so we see clearly. Three black keys. Put the left hand pinky to the right of three black keys. That's an F. Twinkle, twinkle. Start challenging your ear. Music is for the ears. And we want to learn our intervals by sound. Don't be afraid to look for your sound. Now I'm going to pull fingers under the hand so you can see which keys I'm playing. Also, the F and the C are highlighted on the diagram you see at the bottom in blue. Now find that perfect fifth root 
F, one octave higher. Leave the left hand there so you can refer to it. Perfect fifth, right hand with the pinky. So now I've got perfect fifth on F, root of F, perfect fifth, one octave higher. Now, at the top of the screen, you see the phrases of our eight bar blues. The regular blues that you go downtown and play with is a 12 bar blues. We're cutting it short right now just for learning purposes. If you look at the diagram above, you will see at the top of your screen, you will see the markings of phrases. A phrase in music is extremely important. It's like a sentence in language. We understand the music in a new way when we understand the sentences that are being spoken. Now we notice we have one more ingredient, perfect fifth, to learn. Going from G, three black keys between the lowest and the middle sounds or location, put your left hand pinky on G, perfect with twinkle, 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 Perfect fifth. Now I'm going to show you with the hand fingers pulled under so you can see. But when I'm playing, the hand is curved as if I were holding a round object in the hand. All right, now right hand one octave higher, the very next G and D. Now please understand that you don't, no one actually learns this in the first lesson. It takes lots of lessons. You have to love repetition in order to master a skill of psychomotor learning. So set your mindset to the idea that you're not going to play this right off with the lesson. Rather, you're going to take it out and practice it. In the next session, we're going to practice with you so that you learn how to practice. But don't be expecting yourself to get it just as I'm doing it. That's extremely important. You will be demanding the impossible of most people. Let's go over the ingredients one more time. Look at the, at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to pull my fingers under the hand so you can see me also. Let's play the perfect, perfect fifth built on C, red dots. Look ahead, find your F, three blank keys to the right. Now move both arms, move both arms from your shoulders like this. You'll get your coordination going. Good for the brain power, yes. All right, now look at your blue dots. Spell it with me. That means say the letter names. F, up to C, up a perfect fifth, twinkle, twinkle. Ah, good. All right, now just going up a whole step from F to G. Lift your hands. Let the arms, let the hands measure the distance. We are not counting five letter names and trying to figure out what a perfect fifth is. You'll never play the piano that way. We learn it by sound and by that tactile and kinesthetic memory. So now we've got our ingredients. Looking at the top of the page, we see that we're in a time organization pattern of strong, weak, weak, weak. Four beats to the bar. So we're going strong. I'm thinking up to F. F local. I'm thinking back down to C. Strong, weak, weak, weak. Now I'm looking at phrase two, up to G, weak. We step down to F. I'm thinking ahead like driving an automobile. I'm thinking ahead all the time. I want to play the first blues bass for you now so that you can hear it all the way through and see what it looks like all put together. The big picture 
is always important in our innovative approach. So if you like, you can look at the top of the screen and see, or you can just watch me in the play. So here I go. Strong, weak, weak, weak. Up to the F, back to the C's. Ending phrase one, phrase two, weak, weak. Weak, strong, weak, feel it in your body. Strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. Now let me, for fun, just give you a little sample of where that's going to lead you shortly. Oh, everybody's going to love it. on your way. See you soon.